Hey guys, so I'm, I wanted to talk about Fifty Shades of Grey and how basically it pretty much promotes sexually ab sexually abused sexual abuse, and it doesn't see it in a dark bad way like it's bad to do this. It's seen in a kind of romanticized way, and it's not okay. I think that also self harm is seen in very um, pretty much. Everyone probably knows what the movie's about. I'm gonna not explain the movie or the book. If you don't, Goodreads link down below. You can totally read about what it is. I also put the trailer to the movie. Um, so basically, with the cases and stuff that is going on in the world because of Fifty Shades of Grey and just in general, that people are thinking that it's okay to do these things because hey, Christian Grey did it. Why can't I do this in my life? Pretty much the reason why you can't do it in your life is because he. He is sexually abusing his girlfriend, even though, from what I've read, I only read the first half of Fifty Shades of Grey, they're not even officially dating or anything, they're just like, let's sleep together. Um, and it's not okay, um, also Anastasia is really stupid, like, I like, like, Bella's stupid in Twilight, because, you know, that's who she's, like, inspired by, but no, like, she's extremely stupid, like, when I mean, like, on, like, Anastasia is really stupid. I mean, like, how do you agree to something when you don't even understand what you're agreeing to? And then you try to change the guy. Like, okay. Okay, I like you. You're cool. Let me try to change you. There's so many bad things in this book slash movie. Like, what? Um, apparently the really bad scenes were cut out of the movie, which is great, because, yeah, I didn't even get to some of those bad scenes, because half the book, nothing really happened. Um, yeah. Uh, so, I feel like this is kind of a ranty video because of the fact that I'm talking about it in kind of a negative light, but it it is negative, the whole kind of thing of everyone romanticizing Christian Grey and how he's such a... It, the guy who plays him? Really cute. I get that. But it's still not okay to kind of be like, oh, he did this, let me do this, because it's totally okay, and that's not okay. Guys, don't take this seriously. Girls also don't take that movie seriously because in reality if you like the idea of someone being abused, like what kind of person are you? And maybe some people don't understand that people are being abused because I totally didn't remember this but basically how he got into this whole thing was because some he was a ladies submissive and pretty much he became this ladies submissive and that's also do you realize that if you are under a certain age, consent doesn't count, it's still statutory rape. So there's a lot of elements of consent doesn't matter, um, rape is okay, and all these other things. Like, let's make fun of this and that, and let's just talk about it like, you know what, I did this, ha, huh? it's fine. It's not fine, and I think we need to really, like, as a society, this is a lot about our society that we think it's fine. For, like guys to do whatever they want while if a girl were to like do actually apparently it doesn't count if girl rapes a guy but legally thank you law um i'm joking but like there are a lot of things that are really horrible about this and just don't romanticize it that's kind of my point right now that it's not worth romanticizing or committing a crime and actually going to jail for it because in reality if you want to recreate these things, know that you're, it is abuse, it is not nice, it is not a good thing to do. Partner are fine with abuse and you're like, we're gonna role play and then you plan out and you talk about it and then you do aftercare which is like when you, you're like, are you okay? You kind of talk about it afterwards and you're like, oh, did I hurt you? What happened? Are you fine? You know aftercare and stuff, then it's totally fine, I feel like you can totally do that. If it's consensual and everything, that's basically what real BDSM is anyway. It's like, let's plan this out, let's do this, and then let's talk about it, because, you know, what we just did was intense. I feel like a lot of the problems that have gone on with Fifty Shades of Grey is pretty much because people aren't educated about the culture of BDSM, or just abuse. Like, they don't, people don't necessarily know what abuse is which is really weird, but, cause you know, yeah. I'm also gonna try to do a video on consent, probably next. I don't know, I really wanna do a video on consent and just 
sexual abuse as a whole, like just the idea of sexual abuse versus not just in Fifty Shades of Grey. But I wanted to do this video first because I wanted to point out the fact that Fifty Shades of Grey have kind of, is kind of made sexual abuse a lot more common, a little bit more common um, in this era of people. So tell me, just suggestions for next discussion videos. I am considering doing more taboo subject kind of discussion videos so if you guys want any like subject or anything or like a q a on something weird just tell me down below and i'll totally do it just not anything like weird as in like film your feet and put it on youtube if it's not that you know okay but yeah so also i have my doraemon background because i was i actually literally maneuvered that doraemon into my film my by my like thing because I just really wanted to be in my my own um, in the background so I worked really hard for that so I hope you guys liked it um I'll talk to you guys later and hopefully you like this video okay bye I like it though it's nice I, I guess the wear is just it, it fixes my posture honestly I got this dress and it's kind of fairy cake kind of the dress is from the brand I can't read this I think it says queen I can't read Korean, but like that. The only reason I say it's called Queenies because it's such a I don't know. Yeah, anyway.